Now, the Washington Post reports, yes, the administration is offering Israel valuable intelligence on Hamas whereabouts if they drop the operation in Rafah. Brent Sadler is a former Pentagon official and joins me now. Brent, does that mean that we, we Americans, the CIA, we know where the Hamas leaders are, but Israel does not? I wouldn't go that far. I mean, we probably have interesting and different bits and pieces of the picture that certainly might fit together and help the Israelis track down and actually take out the remaining leadership of Hamas in Gaza. I would have thought Israel has that information on its own. They're, be they're in better situation to know what's going on, aren't they? Well, they certainly have the best information on the ground, and they certainly have a long history and know the individuals that they're hunting. But again, the United States also has some exquisite capabilities and also from a different angle. So it provides another aspect to an intelligence picture that is never really full, fully in crisp, clear focus. And that last detail that the U.S. might provide might be the, the secret ingredient to actually having a successful counterattack against Hamas. The Secretary of State Blinken continues to defend Biden's move to withhold weapons from Israel. Watch this, Brent. Roll it. No one has done more to defend Israel when it mattered than President Biden. The United States, for the first time ever, participated in its active defense, and President Biden brought together a coalition of countries that helped defend Israel. So no one has done more uh, than Joe Biden. However, Brent, it looks to a lot of people like Biden is siding with Hamas and maybe letting them win, certainly the PR battle. Well, the good and the bad of the Biden administration's policies towards Israel basically puts American interest at risk rather than move the ball forward to a peaceful resolution. It's very clear if you kind of roll back the timeline when the first news came out that the, that the Biden administration was withholding munitions for Israel to defend itself and to carry on the fight against Hamas. It was before they announced any clear indication Israel had violated any understandings the transfer of those arms, nor any violation of the, arm, the law of armed conflict. So it's clear that this administration is making these decisions based on domestic political calculations over November and not for the success or for American interest with Israel and Hamas. Well, that's not good news. Brent Sadler, thanks very much for joining us, Brent. We hope to see you again real soon. Thank you, sir. Thank you.